With the season winding down, an opportunity finally presented itself. And just like that, a new season began. The off season. As the snow continued to pile up, it wasn't long until my mind wandered back to the days of September and all of the places we like to hunt. Like the money stand, the short skid road, flat tire corner, and big poop. But as I step outside, I'm reminded that it's winter. The days are short and the nights are long. And it's during this time every year that I send my hunting partners the challenge. All right, I'm in a, a new area. It's kind of a challenge I set for Cheyenne and Kevin is to get out this year, find someplace new. And so uh, I had no clue where I was heading today. Whoa, 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 bear, whoa, 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 bear, go, go away, you go away, go, whew, well that was fun. When I returned in August to check the trail cameras, I realized I'd found something special. I felt like I had accomplished the off-season challenge. I wondered what name we'd give this new hunting spot. Perhaps the mud bugs, or possibly the wolf wallow. Maybe we'd have an encounter at Mr. Big's place. All of our hunting spots earn their nickname, and Stinger earned its name day one. I'm not sure how, but we walked through a yellow jacket's nest of some sort. I got stung five times, and you have to get out the yuppie pen. Use the epi pin on the side of the hill. Ran into another yellow jacket nest. Um, Kevin got the worst of it this time. I probably had about 10. I only got one. The challenge of Stinger proved to be thick and remote. That's all the way in. We still have to walk back. We had to contend with wolves and hunters. Got Doug Flutie. We want to be those guys that are just like, hey, we had that elk first, which we did. <laughs> but there was one thing that always kept us coming back. <laughs> oh, that's him there. There's so many balls, we're just not really sure which way to go. It's actually part of the problem with Stinger. So, so part of the problem with Stinger is that so many bulls in different pockets is trying to find out which ones to go for. The story of my life, they're on the other ridge. Like that side and that side, but not on this one. And yesterday we were on that one and they were on this ridge and on that ridge. <laughs> oh, we've come close, but came up empty every time. We even tried packing in tree stands. Today's September 29th and uh... I'm sitting in a tree stand and um, I honestly came into the season with the hopes of trying to shoot my first six by six. Um, I've had a lot of six by six in front of me through the years, but just for whatever reason, they've always managed to live. And uh, I set out a goal to try to get that done this year and I could still get it done right here tonight. We all have in reaches, so we've been communicating like that, Cheyenne, uh, Sounds like he had like a camera arm fiasco this morning.
Christmas the end of 2020 elk season. It was that close. But this year, the thermals began to shift. We don't know what's going on with Kevin. He's still over there dinking around this tent. So Cheyenne and I decided to go for a round of uh, rock, paper, scissors. And since Kevin wasn't here, we put a ghost runner in for him. And, uh, you know, believe it or not, <laughs> Cheyenne and I lost. So Kevin's up. He's shooter today. Uh, Cheyenne's going to do the calling, and I'll be on the camera, and we're going to go see if we can get it done, see if we can get Kevin on a big bull today. So. Frustrated by this challenge, we decided Stinger needed new tactics. I got Paul downloaded, and he's going to show it. Hi, I'm Paul with Elk Mad Outdoors, and in this video clip here, we're going to talk about the advertising sequence, and one of our favorite times to use. Paul, don't let me down. What I have here are the elk nut sequences, cliff notes. We're gonna start with advertising bugles, raking, thrashing, stomp. Advertising bugles, raking, thrashing, don't stomp. Just raking, thrashing. And then we got advertising bugles. Then you thrash, then rake. And then be creative with the bugles. It's not just like wee you, wee you. You get some whiny stuff in there too. And then pause now and then and listen. Rarely do they come in loudly. He wants to see you to establish the pecking order. So, here we go. Sort of cold calling, advertising sequence. It's early. It's August 30th. We know there's bulls in the area. We have pictures of them. Our setup of the season. Paul Modell's, uh, his secret sauce. After several years of archery success, I connected with my good friend Cheyenne and his longtime hunting partner Greg, and we began our journey as higher calling adventures together. Stinger brought many challenges, but also many opportunities at six point bulls. In fact, we had never seen a raghorn there the first few years, only mature bulls. It was right about here we laid our eyes on this bull for the very first time at 60 yards. Man, he looked big. Would this be the moment we conquer Stinger and my challenge to get a big six? Oh my god! Oh 
Oh, Miguel, I love you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, and Dan Stinger. Shots fired at Stinger. <laughs> it's just like this place is kicked in my butt for years. And it's been like that spot where it's just like, I just gotta, gotta figure it out, you know? Just gotta, I can't let it win. I can't let it win. And so I just wanna, I didn't wanna give up. I just want, can't let this win. We gotta figure it out. We gotta figure it out. <laughs> uh. My knees were shaking so bad. When that bull bugle, I heard you guys moo. And then I just waited, waited, and didn't hear anything. I didn't know he was even there. I still thought he was on the other side. I thought that bull was on the other side. And so, <laughs> and then all of a sudden I hear whack. I'm like, I know what that sound is. This is where the shot was right here. Oh, we got good blood. Good blood. All the way through? All the way through. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty right there. Blood. It's him there, though. Just keep following that trail, buddy. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. <laughs> Is it there? <laughs> oh, I love you, buddy. We did it. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Oh, dude. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> There's a beast. Oh. Wow. Look at that boy. Dude. Want some help? <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, my are. goodness, he is a beast. What a toad. Oh my gosh. In 2021, we broke through the challenge of Stinger and myself the challenge of harvesting a six point bull. With 2018's challenge finally met and the struggles of Stinger pushed through, the off season gives us opportunity to share our story, the story of Stinger. This is hard. But the stories I'll be able to tell around this bowl for years to come. Opening day. August 30th, over the counter tag. We ran a script, not one cow call. Shane bugled that bull across the basin, came right in. When I get him mounted and he's put up on the wall, it's not about the trophy on the wall, it's about telling that story. And stories are special. Special memories that you get to share with other people who weren't there. And my brothers who were there. Good job, buddy. Hey everybody, I got a tracking challenge for you. See if you could find us on YouTube and Rumble, like our channels, hit the subscribe button, and check out our new shenanigans series. Guarantee you're gonna crack up. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go kill an elk. Okay. 